Hello there and welcome to this new Sobahost.net tutorial on Microsoft SQL Server 2008. So today we're going to download um, Microsoft S MS SQL 2008. This is the link. So go to your host, like we discussed in the first video. I usually hit here to not show this here, this icon. Open the browser and download from this link copy it from the description on this video platform and just download this file which will you will have to download this file here for 64 bit it's on the desktop for me I already downloaded it you just hit the download button here and that's it after it is finished I always create a notepad file for the SQL Server password and for the instance name, the SQL Server's name. So, yeah, let's just install the SQL Server. And meanwhile, let's disable Windows updates. You don't need them. So, for Windows updates, just click on search Windows updates. And usually, exactly go to change settings and make sure it's never check for updates and untick this and click ok because the updates are not probably working in 2008 so you don't need them it will be a waste of time so I'll usually copy the password the SQL password that I choose you use something very complicated and don't use something with just numbers and stuff it's very easy to crack it on a SQL server to be honest not for me but from experience and yeah let's just start installing click new installation or other features accept terms don't send feature easy data, we don't need that. Uh, we'll check right now if your PPS is ready and it should be ready. Alright, it took some, some time, it took a minute. I'm gonna go full screen. So, as I said, create a password for SQL, so you're gonna use for your server files, you know, for your database connection. Um, so first we click next, and every feature here has to be installed. And like I said, here is the instance name. You can use whatever you want, but this is the most default. So let's keep that default. And this is more default, but that's not uh, working probably for every server files from my experience. So it has to be SQL Express. All right, here was one of the most important things. Click on the SQL Server browser and make it automatic as well. This is very important. It's needed for many reasons, for website connection reasons. So hit next. And now is the password part. This is the password we choose. I create on the Infos.txt and I click mixed mode. And I paste it here, next. Nope. And that's it, you just wait between 5 to 10 minutes right now it will take 5 to 10 minutes maximum sometimes it takes very very far like 2 minutes so yeah after that's finished you're finished as well and you can ap open SQL Server Management Studio and you can restore your database so on the next video we're gonna talk about ODBC 
and manual setup so after this is finished make sure you it's finished without no errors it should shouldn't give you any errors and that's it I actually this is the way you install probably and specifically for servers